We're taking you out a leg lift here. It's kind of our theme for the day. Everybody wants to early rotate. So you don't, your hips st kind of stop moving. Now your lift leg gets out, your lift leg opens, and then your back knee starts to go down. So it's well, the same thing. We want to hold this lift leg position. We want to move forward and down at the same rate. So I want my hip, you know, out here before this wants to open, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's holding that front leg position and then just sitting forward and down. Because you're, you're not moving the hips as much. You're just opening your front foot and putting down. So what's going to happen is we're not going to see the power in the hip rotation. Okay. So you can see you actually hit front foot here, which is interesting. There's a little bit of peak of the red right here as you land. So basically your, your hip energy didn't come until you landed. Actually, it's all the way up here. So your hips started peaking, you landed, and then your hips went, went into rotation. So your front leg is driving more of your rotation when it should be your back leg because what happens is when you land you have about two tenths literally 0 0.1 0 0.2 seconds until you throw the ball so trying to peak rotation after you land or even get well into rotation after you land it just takes too long and what happens is your hips and shoulders will come together which you see so you can see as your hips come around right here here comes your shoulder right there with it. So if this was your hip peak, your shoulder peak is not too far away. So if we look at, you know, the, the red peak, even though the top of it is kind of cut off, and, and even though you were still able to rotate with your front leg, you still didn't get it to peak um, it, it, right here where it would have peaked. But once again, your, your, your trunk wouldn't have peaked much after it. So we really want to see, we'd want to see you land right here and then right into the peaks and then, yep, yeah, and then your trunk's peaking out here. So if we were able to open the hip right here, you would have had some decent separation. And that's credit to you. when you land, your shoulders were closed and you weren't trying to tuck your glove, you weren't pulling, so you weren't early to rotate. You're just late to drive your hip rotation because you didn't have any power behind it because you just swung your front leg open. So they both come around, similar to Romans, they are both vert too vertical at release. Everything's straight up and down, okay? So, if, I mean, if we look at your chest orientation, you're 17 degrees and your front leg is, you know, very vertical too. So it's just because all your, you let, let happen was your front leg swing open. There was no real forward and down. There was no movement down the mount. So everything just spun. And think about what rotation, rotation goes up, right? When things spin like a tornado, they go up. We want things to go forward. That's where we have to delay rotation and push everything forward, which is what we're going to focus on today when we get in all of our drills. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can see two here. Your trunk. That wasn't too bad. Your trunk was kind of leaning in. You want to actually be what we call contralateral, leaning to the glove side. You're leaning more to the arm side. Okay. When you lean to the arm side, you want to correct by pulling to the glove side, and that adds more into rotation. So you want to keep your posture more up. Be careful with leaning over. Keep your posture up so we can carry everything forward and over and through. Okay. And I think that's it. I think you just, you know, the timing of like your upper body is great. You just don't have the power in your lower half. So it's, and I felt like even your first beginner in the beginner camp we did yesterday, I was like, you time things well, you just don't have the power. So it's like, you don't have that, integrity in your, your ankles. We really got to get your ankles stronger. We got your legs stronger. And then we got to teach you how to delay rotation and push all those forces down the mound. And I think you're, the way you time things and move, it'll all work out really well. You just got to get more explosive, more powerful, more dynamic, and you'll get your velocity and things should be pretty consistent because I think you move pretty well.